Hello, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com and in today's After Effects tutorial I'm going to show you a really simple technique for creating a quick marble effect like the one shown here. As usual, all of this can be achieved with the standard tool set found in After Effects CS3, CS4 or CS5 um, so you don't need any plugins at all. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a new composition and in this case um, I'm using the HDTV 720p preset um, but obviously you can make that size anything you like and we'll just call it marble comp hit OK and to start off with I'm going to create a new solid and we'll make it a mid to dark grey just hit OK and we'll call this marble colour I'll just zoom out so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Next step is to create another solid and we'll call this marble veins 1. doesn't really matter what color we make this but I'll set it to black just to make it obvious which one's which. Then you go to your effects and presets panel and type lightning and we're going to select the advanced lightning tool and drop it onto the marble veins solid. Now the default setting will give us this um, blue lightning effect which is uh, useful for electricity and science fiction stuff and storms but not really what we're after. So we need to make a few changes first. First thing we're going to do is change the lightning type to two-way strike and then we can play with the origin. So if I select the uh, origin point and drag it off to the side and then the direction because it's a two-way strike we can drag the origin and end points so that they uh, line up the way we want to then we go to the core settings and I'm just going to drop the, the core opacity down to 60% and obviously we don't want the glow to be blue so I'm going to just select white on that now you can see already that's a little bit too extreme so we need to make a couple of changes here. Glow radius, I'm going to take that right down probably to about 20 and the glow opacity again right down to about 20 and as you can see that creates a nice simple marble vein look and uh, all we're going to do to uh, make that a little bit more marble like is select the marble veins one layer hit control and D three or four times depending on how veiny you want your marble and we'll just rename that marble veins 2 marble veins 3 marble veins 4 and you guessed it marble veins 5 now with the second layer selected all we're going to do is just change the origin and direction points and then we'll do the same thing with the remaining layers okay that's pretty much the way I want it to look I'm going to select the marble color and just turn that into a 3D layer Okay, now that our marble color is set to a 3D layer, the next step is to go to Layer, New and Light. Create a standard light, Spotlight, 100%, 180 degrees and Cone Feather, 50, with a white color. And hit OK. And I'm just going to play around with the position of the light and the point of interest, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Now if you think that um, that marble veining is looking a little bit too severe um, just go to each marble vein layer and hit T and drag the opacity down to around the 40% mark. Okay, 
And there you have it, a nice and easy marble texture layer. Um, if we go back to the original comp, um, all I've done, and regular viewers will probably recognize this, the technique I used in the Sands of Time project, I've just created a um, new text layer using Trajan Pro, um, out of the bevel and emboss um, effect to it, and also a little bit of satin to make it look like uh, metallic text. And the marble text layer beneath is just a little recessed area to make it look as if I've got um, metallic text embedded in the uh, a marble engraving. Now, as usual, I'll be putting the uh, project file for this up on my website. So uh, if you don't want to go through all the hassle of creating it for yourself, you'll find it at uh, www.shortformvideo.com. So uh, go there, download it, have a play, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.